Hello, welcome to the programme. This week we've come to a country hotel, the kind of place you might visit for a special treat, like Mother's Day this weekend. And later we'll be looking at your rights if you buy Mother's Day, a time when many of us splash some cash to buy a special treat. So what's on the cards for the lucky mums in Chantresant? Thing to plan. Well, Professor Margaret Griffiths is here. Um, Margaret, let's talk about flowers, first of all. Yes. Let's say that you've ordered a bouquet like this from a florist to be delivered on a specific date. Right. What are your rights then? Well, generally speaking, um, delivery has to... And what about um, these experience gifts mm. that you can buy now, like a, a nice high tea or yeah. um, a hot air balloon trip, for example? Mm. What about if that experience isn't up to standard, in your opinion? Well, there are two aspects to that. And if it doesn't, then it may be that you're entitled either to ask for it to be done again or entitled to a partial refund. But in order to prove your case, you really do need to take photos, complain to the person at the time to see if it's possible to correct it there and then, and ultimately, of course, write a complaint to the company concerned. Margaret, thank you. Now, buying all these gifts isn't cheap, and when it comes to... Well, it has been pretty cold recently, although spring is apparently on its way, which should make it a lot more tempting to ditch. Tonight on X-Ray, we're at the Wales National Velodrome in Newport, where our elite cyclists train, and future generations of bike fans can get inspired to become the next Becky James or Geraint Thomas. But getting our children active isn't always quite so easy. And for one group of parents in Cardiff, it just got a little bit harder. Rachel has the story. Well, Cardiff Council, who appointed Better Leisure, told us they had in fact already stopped selling the All Action Junior card before the new company took over. They said some parents were block booking classes, creating long waiting lists for others and then failing to turn up. The council say they provide lots of opportunities for young people to pursue other activities through their partnership with Sport Cardiff and via the city's pitches and other facilities. As for Better Leisure, Juliet Dickinson, GLL's Regional Director for Wales, is with me. Um, Juliet, parents we spoke to felt priced out of using their own community leisure centre. That is just not right, is it? It's actually provide a much more consistent, fairer uh, junior programme in those coach courses. But there's all sorts of specific courses that, that's the actual sticking point. What about the way that you handled this? You didn't consult parents beforehand. It took you two months before you met with them. That's a pretty poor way to treat people. Much. And don't forget, if there's anything you'd like us to look into, you can give us a call or drop us an email. First, though, Rachel's got an update on a story we investigated back in November after you got in touch to tell us about a problem plumber. Well, however much you pay for your salt, it's a fact that most of us are still eating too much of it and it's not doing our health any favours. I've been around the velodrome today to see if people here know just how much salt is hiding in everyday foods. Next, the man from Neath, nice, who's been struggling to get rid of some unwelcome house guests. The Housing Association did pay for a pest control report, but didn't find any evidence of rats in the roof. Since then, Michael feels his concerns have been ignored. So what should you do to keep rats out of your home? I've come to ask an expert. Ratting, you should consider. Well, Tai Tarian, the housing association which manages Michael's home, told us they've had no record of any rat related complaints from him since a survey in May 2016 concluded there were no rats in his loft. They say they've been trying to get in touch with him since his most recent complaint and they're now working hard to try and resolve his issues. Since we contacted them, they've sent pest control to Michael's house and a drain survey of the street highlighted some potential problems. They say they'll be monitoring the situation. Let's hope that they take some action soon and Michael can have some respite from the rats. We'll keep you updated. Now, it's not just here at the velodrome that people are getting on their bikes. Spring is on its way and cyclists across Wales are preparing to hit the road. Many are using modern technology to enhance their experience, but cycle mapping apps can come with a sting in the tail. 
bikes do cost thousands, don't they? So what else can we do to keep them safe? Well, in terms of locks, what we want to avoid is these very... So the bike is actually secured, so that's something you might want to check. Great advice, Andrew. Thank you. Well, that's all we've got time for this week. If you need our help, you can call us 03703 334 334 or drop us an email, x-ray at bbc.co.uk. We're back to our usual time next week, Monday, 7.30. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>